It's Blade Runner for Dummies. We saw the adventures of Pluto Nash, so you know what that means. Now it's time for Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made? I am Paul, joined as always by Jason and June. How are you both? Good, what's going on? Very good. Uh, we have uh, a pair of special guests today. Um, these two Hilarious women are on a brand new show called Best Friends Forever. Uh, it's on NBC, premiering April 4th, right? Yes, yeah. at 8.30, right after Betty White's Off Their Rockers. <laughs> that's <laughs> for real. Right? That's right. Yeah. Get ready. That's happening, America. <laughs> Please welcome Jessica Sinclair and Lennon Parham. Thank, you, thank you for having us. And you guys are here to talk about Betty White's Off Their Rockers. Yeah. Yes, of course. So is it like Howie <laughs> Mandel's show, but different and older? Because it's a prank show, but with old old person prank. Right? Old people now, Lennon. Do you know if old people prank young people? Yeah, I think that's, that's the what's concept. going on. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm and very it's excited. A one, it's not innuendo. a one-time special. It's a it's a series. Oh no, it's a series. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh huh. And you guys have been paired with it because you guys are uh, also, appealing to a similar elderly demographic. Yes, of course. <laughs> elderly women and gay men are our target. <laughs> That's, that's true. That's huge. That's true. That's this is not a bit. That is true. And if we get those people that I don't need, to, I can retire. Is that basically, who you're marketing CBS, towards? Yes. CBS has made a fortune basically doing that. Yeah, they that, have. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they have. All right. I'm well, hoping what is their a remake of Designing? What Women. is their gay people show? Everything. <laughs> CBS. Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Oh my God. Well, that's Tom Selleck's mustache, I guess. <laughs> Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Did you, Tom say? Selleck's mustache. Did you say no? You Selleck. said Tom Selleck's the emphasis mustache. Emphasis was in a really weird. Wait, spot. I said Tom Selleck's mustache. <laughs> no, you. You know what, guys? Tom <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> Starring Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. <laughs> Tom Selleck's, <laughs> Tom Selleck's <laughs> mustache. All right. So Pluto Nash. The Adventures wow. of Pluto Nash. I just want to open up with my first question, which is. How would you classify this movie? Is it a comedy? No. Is it an action movie? I don't know. I was l confounded by almost every element of this movie. From the beginning to the the, the prologue to the seven years ahead, yeah. I didn't understand if Alec Baldwin was in it or not. Yes. Like, I was completely mystified by what was happening. And all of it seemed to be predicated on this action, he shoot him up, he's going to be killed, just for, like, uh, 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 moon gambling. <laughs> It, well, it, I'd also like to know casino. if anyone could describe just like a one line. Like yeah, what's one, the pitch? In one line, what is the movie? Yeah. You're Han, you're Black Han Solo on the moon. <laughs> on the moon. So. Yeah, because of that yeah. jacket. Yeah. He was a first yeah. smuggler. Was he a yeah, smuggler? He was a smuggler. Yeah, he was yeah. a smuggler. Who just uh, got out of jail. On the moon. And, and you also um, are a very famous club owner. Then you become, then, exactly. Then you give up smuggling to become Wait, a very famous club owner. Well, sorry. he got put in jail. No, no. Can I ask you this? Yeah. <laughs> was he a famous club owner before he no, got no, no. there then that's then there has a timeline problem because yeah. by the time he arrives to, with jay moore and he's in the kilt in the very beginning yeah. yes. everyone's like "Ooh, the pluto nash because I thought smuggling he was the well, famous I didn't smuggler know that. that i thought he had had and i kept thinking to myself what was, during that what was first the movie scene, you watched i want to during know. the first scene i thought to myself well who ran his club when he was in jail <laughs> sure and mm -hmm. uh, that wasn't clear so now but, that's cleared a lot of yeah, it was up. maybe an agent it also wasn't oh. clear though See, start out it also really yeah. wasn't clear did he always have designs to become a club owner or it was did his it dream just he said of, when he when the gangsters yes when the gangsters are torturing jay moore he says it's always my dream to open a club of my own oh he buys jay more okay, because the club yes. that he's I thought, in, God, is that I, settles, he settles the debt. I would right. pay upwards of a thousand dollars to just listen to Jessica St. Clair describe the movie she <laughs> thinks she watched. Guys, I feel like someone had given me the date rape drug, <laughs> and then I woke up. Well, it doesn't make and my sense. My butthole was sore, <laughs> and I'd see. I had some vague memories of having screened Pluto Nash. That's see, the experience of watching thing. that movie. I thought me. when he said it was always my dream to open a club, that he was lying just to get yeah. Jay Moore out of a. Maybe. A pickle. That's well, possible. The, well, the opening scene is Jay Moore on stage being a Scottish crooner yeah. named on the Anthony moon. Frankowski mm -hmm. on the moon. It's on the moon. Just so everybody knows, this they movie takes, takes place... place. On the moon. You in, never in see the year 2080. 2080. Right? Well, no, 20, it takes place in 2080 for five minutes, and then right. it, it jumps seven so, years ahead. Yes, I also want to say that Rosario Dawson, in one scene, goes keeps referring to back in '76. That's only four years ago. That's like yep. if we were like back. Well, no, in I mean by the time by the time we see Rosario, it's 
2087. Well, see, I didn't so know that. I didn't know what prior. was going on. <laughs> I needed probably a, a I nine really, years I old. Really wish, I really wish you could just describe what you think you saw. <laughs> the, it, it, uh, Who do you think Rosario Dawson was? Do you know St. Clair? She was just a girl who was trying to make it big. She'd come from Salt Lake City. I know she mentioned that. You're well, right. You're right. That's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. But all, so and also her dad was little a Nicky or something. Famous smuggler. Yeah. They Wait, her that. dad was a famous smuggler. Her How dad much? was Nicky Legs or somebody. Oh, Nicky Sticks. Sticks. Nicky Sticks. Isn't that they a knew famous each other. Nicky, singer? Nicky Inside. Six is the guitar. Oh, I thought it was Nicky Sticks. For, uh, I thought they were. Motley Crue. To a Motley Bas- Crew. Basically, what we're Man. saying is this movie from sense. moment one actively doesn't make any sense. No. And it is definitely <laughs> not a comedy. I counted one and a half jokes. What were they? I laughed what out loud. I want to yes. know what the half was. Okay, I laughed out loud once. Oh, really? Okay, what, what was oh. your, right, let's see. If that was it. when Eddie Murphy did that really long pause after Jay Me Moore too. That was described how he was going to make it to the other elevator. Yes. I thought that was a yes. that was a joke. That was a yep. solid joke, and I considered <laughs> the half joke the robot made who would yeah, bend oops, over. Yeah. They called that the oops program. Yeah. Yeah. They could look at her robot <laughs> vagina. Like uh, that was basically like what Eddie Murphy gets I'll off you, on looking I'll, at robot vagina. I'll tell you what's a disturbing <clears throat> moment of the film is when who's that who's that Latino man Louis, Louis, Louis Guzman. Guzman. Guzman talks about renting a robot to rape that robot and then it turning on him there's Terminator a lot of, style yeah. there's he, a lot he references of, the Terminator is, movie what's, that, what's wrong with that it's terrifying oh, to me. That's if, not right. A That's robot, a message though. we're sending that isn't right. It, was not, it wasn't like he rented a tiny child. Oh, he no. My a, understanding a was a he had a robot that he rent, He was the pimp for. No, my he rented no, that he robot He tried out. to have sex with that yes, robot. Then and then he robot tried to turned have sex on him. Yes, the, then the robot turned on him and went Terminator Turn. style, which is a reference that at that point is... Hundreds of years. I mean, like, <laughs> but it, but and it's like, it's like so, referencing a talkie. Yes, now. but but at the same time, there's a point in the movie where Eddie Murphy is watching a Jimmy Cagney movie. So oh, yeah. so I guess all time. Yes, but is nobody funny. remembers Frank Sinatra. No. Oh right, no. yeah. So yeah, Here, I mean, <laughs> just the so, timeline is up for grabs. We're we're not gonna go step by step for the movie because it's gonna this make all right. We're the we are already. And by the way, if you're confused by what's happening in yeah. the podcast. So are we. The movie is a billion times more confusing. Um, basically, all you need to know is that <laughs> someone <laughs> wants Eddie Murphy to sell his club. He says no. They blow it up. And then the whole movie is running, running into a cameo, explosions, running into a cameo, explosions, running into a cameo. That's Space gunfights. Eddie that, Murphy fighting himself. Oh, and then that. And then the big... Oh, yeah. Murphs Spoiler alert. Murphs. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Murphs I think I knew, I knew from the beginning because they started off with a hip-hop version of Blue Moon. Yes. Uh-huh. And then the soundtrack never failed me for the rest of the time. Oh, oh, the yeah. soundtrack is one of the worst soundtracks <laughs> yeah. of all time. It's like Saved by the Bell underscore, like, boop, but, yeah. but jazzy Terrible. hip-hop. The Blue Moon thing in the, the beginning was like, is hip-hop crazy. Blue Moon is really it's bad. Like, <laughs> what about when they show their? What about when they, they show their? They rap in Blue Moon. They go like rap, like they like, like the, the hip hop track over the Blue Moon. Who calls out that? But rap. mad props, mad props to Rosario and Jay, who both did their own singing. <laughs> well, yeah. Jay Moore probably oh, yeah? shouldn't have done his own singing if he was like that. Fr- I mean, I thought that was an odd choice. It was I, an odd. Yeah. And, and was Rosario trying to launch a, a singing career? Well, On you the know, moon. she was in Rent. No, I mean in person. Oh, right. oh, she in was. In real life. Right. Yeah, she's she was. A, she is a singer. Uh, and just, I, I wrote those lyrics down for that last song because oh, yeah. I love them. Do you want to please sing them? Yes. I don't remember the tune, but it was We Be Getting Crunked Up. We Be Getting Pumped Up. <laughs> we Put That Fire Out. I don't know why that's a good thing. Yeah. We Lift Your Glasses Higher Now. Is it the, is it the right. chorus? It's, everything is all right. Yeah, it's the all movie right. ends. It's all right. The movie ends, and that song lets you know that hey, everything is all oh. right. That is a pretty amazing <laughs> thing. Did you know that um, this movie <laughs> was ranked the 79th worst film in 2000, but it has the distinction of being the biggest financial loss of any movie what? besides John Carter of all. Time is that true? Yes, John Carter just John Carter beat it is out. Destroyed. Really? Yeah. Yes. Wow. The budget for this movie. Now, by the way, the it looks like it, looks it like, costs five dollars to make. Exactly. It's the, the, it's the most ugliest, ugliest sets. It looks like they just threw a bunch of neon on like uh, Disneyland Street. Yes. 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 If you've never been that to Universal sh- City Walk, it yes. looks like a yeah. dilapidated version of that. Mm-hmm. And the it, weird thing about that is like they made this movie. The movie came out in what two thousand two. Yeah. 
So they made this movie like in the 2000s. It looks like it looks like someone in the 70s made a movie about the future. Well, here's a piece like, yes. of info I dug The future when up. they were making it was more futuristic than what the People future yeah. in this movie People still use payphones like. in this movie. Yes. That, like, that's the one thing that yes. the Jetsons don't even use payphones. Here's the situation. This movie was in development. For 17 years. Oh, yes. Yeah, that now. is insane. Started off in 1985. Well, wow. So that is what they thought the future would be in 1985. And nobody, they, nobody they, updated it? Yeah. They no, didn't do production didn't design time. in 1985. <laughs> Maybe they, they probably did, did it know. in 2000. They did those dioramas. Maybe the set designer made those dioramas in 1985. They didn't have, you know. Well, they got a they lot of funny it. ads in there like uh, America Online oh is my a God. big thing in 2008. <laughs> Lunar edition. <laughs> Lunar edition of America Online. I would love to talk to the costume designer uh, about that oh, yeah. rust-colored, ruffled shirt and leather jacket that Rosaria Dawson was in. <laughs> it for added most of the 20 movie. pounds. It was she, the most unflattering woman. thing I've ever seen. She was dressed like uh, a, a, a pile of garbage. <laughs> she, she It looks like someone just gorgeous woman. threw fabric on her tits and, and was like, oh, you're best. good, get on camera. And all of the men are dressed like Arsenio Hall. Yeah. <laughs> On the moon, we it are looks like a, it looks like a Steve Harvey clothing store blew up and yeah. then outfitted the entire. Cast. It literally is like, oh well, uh, there's a lunar colony now. Yeah, it's Little America. Yeah. What does everybody wear? Zoot suits. That yeah. sounds right. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> again, to, suit riot. <laughs> again, to talk about how bad I own that CD. What? What are you yeah. talking about? That's it's true. Right. Isn't Big that bad one? Voodoo Daddy? Big bad Voodoo Daddy. That you own that CD. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait, is, is that you have the, a single? Uh, Whatever that, the CD, CD was that had that song. I feel like if I went into your house, you would have five CDs, and they are Name that them. CD, the Shrek, the Shrek, two Shrek soundtrack. soundtrack, Shrek Two soundtrack. Oh, not Shrek Wait, One. Why Shrek not? Two. Why Shrek Two? Why not Shrek One? I don't know. I own. Did the you Shrek lose two Shrek One? Maybe. I don't know. What, but I, I definitely have Shrek Two. Uh, I feel like you have all soundtracks. Yes. <laughs> like a Steel Magnolia soundtrack, that's maybe. That's true. Anna Green Gables soundtrack. <laughs> yep. Um, that's pretty much it. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. And then it. she has the glory. And like oh, George and maybe, Winston's and winter. Maybe, who are the old, girls? You have old who are school, the women uh, who Gloria used to wear? Stefan. Yes, and who are the women that used to wear um, the satin gloves? In Vogue. Uh, Vogue? In Vogue. In Vogue. <laughs> Never going to get it. Yeah, I own that as well. Wow. Wow. Moving on dot org and and moving on dot org is that a different is that a different organization than move on dot org? That's a past tense. One. Is it is that a Let's what website? Or is that? <laughs> Let's get back to the film. I wanted to. I, we did. We did. Oh, we did uh, we talk did. about the film. Can I well, go back to Jay Moore for one second? Yeah, sure. He's very okay. Because I was trying to figure out. Now, was he a perform? So, so he wasn't Scottish. Obviously, he was a, his last name was. I think he was Frankowski. a Scottish. Critic. Yeah. No, that's Polish. Polish. They kept he making Polish. reference to him as yes. Polish. So he yeah. is just a guy who wanted to find, like, a gimmick for his stage persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, he so he was wearing the Scottish, the Scottish crew right. or whatever they, he called himself. And the club was a really dingy club because no was one wanted to hear this Scottish, Scottish crew. Where a diarrhea and, appeared to be coming out of the faucet. That's Ooh. like your worst nightmare, right? <laughs> that bathroom, that bathroom, also, your worst that bathroom nightmare. was, like... <laughs> 10 million times worse that's than like, the train spotting bathroom. That's like watching Saw for me, is you yeah. having to use that type of bathroom. Uh, <laughs> also, interesting fact about Eddie Murphy, when he goes into that disgusting bathroom, <clears throat> he goes, he turns on the faucet and like green goo comes out and mm -hmm. he's like, Ugh, let me get my handy wipe out. Eddie Murphy travels. Insert shot. <laughs> yes. Insert shot Insert of shot. handy wipe. Like, yeah. extreme close up of a handy wipe being Look, opened. A little bit of OCD. Like, this is like another part of Pluto Nash's <laughs> character that we don't really revisit, that he just Never has come handy back wipes. To. And Never then, come back. When he comes back from the bathroom, Jay Moore is tied up by these gangsters who he owes money to, mm -hmm. and they have a can that says battery acid, yep. and they're about to pour it in his mouth <laughs> via a funnel, uh, but I didn't know that you could get battery acid in a can. Like, oh, what, yeah. Oh, yeah, what totally. Could, what would you ever do that? Like, yeah, I'd like a can of battery acid. Yeah. I need to pour that on something. Like, well, are you going to put it in batteries? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Just give me that can of battery acid. It won't eat through the can, though, right? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I got it. Doesn't guys, eat through a battery, does it? <laughs> Did you guys recognize the uh, the the guy's assistant who was helping with the battery acid? Who was it? Who was it? I think it was the grown up kid from Bronx Tale. Really? Oh, the yeah. cross eyed guy? No, that's Victor oh. Varnado. Is no, that's the guy we know. That's yeah. the guy we know. Yes. Victor Vernado, we know. Yes. yes. I think, was it, is it Max Casella? Is that his name? Oh, the kid from Doogie Howser? Yeah. That might have been him. I'm going to no, look. No, that's wrong. 
Don't. That's wrong. Yeah, you, just out, you just out. You just out. Hauser is wrong. By the way, I'm going to read you what this is. Just we were yeah. saying. What, how would you describe this movie? I'm going to describe it to you. Uh, <laughs> here, here's how somebody wrote it as a pitch. Okay. It, after his successful club is blown to flaming bits, Pluto and his band travel across his the moon. Band? His band travel across the moon looking for clues to who's behind the arson, along with Bruno. Arson? What arson? When they blew up his, his club. club? I guess but that's there aren't right. any clues. There's he no knows clues. Who blew it up. Yeah. He knows who blew it up. A Along with Bruno, his bodyguard, and Dean of the Singer, Pluto visits a seedy motel, his secret hideout, and the casino of the most powerful man on the moon, searching for the evildoer, only to find the destruction of his club may have been his own fault. Whoa! That, I guess, is when the does that nice happen? twist. I would... Was was I, nice twist. When does that happen, that you find out it was his own one? Well, he right. end, he's got a he's clone. Himself. He's got a clone. He fights himself. You don't he remember He didn't that? clone himself. No, but the guy no. had access to all his brain stuff. <laughs> like, basically, what they did was he got an appendix surgery <laughs> in, in, prison. In, in prison, and they took a piece of his appendix, they cloned a new Eddie Murphy, then Eddie Murphy found out that he was being a puppet, and then he got rid of the mafia guys that were making him a puppet, and now he's mm-hmm. not a puppet, he's a real mafia mm-hmm. guy. I thought there was some really strong Work character work done by Ileana Douglas. Yeah. In that, that wig. Yeah, wig. That, that wig. <laughs> that wig the, did a lot for her. And the her. top and bottoms with now, cut out. I, I just want to pause for a second. St. Clair, do you know who we're talking yes, about? Yes, the woman who does the cloning. <laughs> yeah, no, the not is. cloning. She does she body, 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 yes, you're right. body, yes. body augmentation. Body. Which I think, I think putting them... So there's a scene where they go to get body work done. <laughs> where like plastic, it's like moon plastic surgery. And then they look in the mirror yes. and they could see what they could look it's like. like a funhouse mirror. That goes on for like 45 minutes. But I think, it's they, all, I think they sucked up most of their budget on those shots, honestly. On those I think that's effects. why there was no money for the set for the costume. <laughs> But they only do it twice. Like they get, look at their body as Africans, mm-hmm. like Africans from the jungle, mm-hmm. yeah, which Eddie Amazon. Murphy keeps like uh, uh, which, with Eddie Murphy keeps going like, I look like a doofus. Yeah. I look like a doofus. <laughs> like weird term. And, I mean, all right. So he's a, he looks that's like a Amazon doofus. One. Yeah, and he, that's Amazon. And then they get bodybuilder look. Venice Beach. Well, he keeps look. Venice on Beach. Is Venice is the Beach. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Venice yeah. Beach. But he and keeps so on taking ro- the piss out of Rosaria Dawson by her, telling her, her she butt. needs a bigger butt. Yeah. Yeah. And Which, you know what? Not not the worst advice. Well, then Eddie know? Murphy creates a body for Rosario so, Dawson where her <laughs> boobs are giant and her ass is giant. And he's like, yeah, I like that. And it's like, she looks grotesque. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so does Eddie Murphy Thanks. as Wait, he's been is grotesque beat. good? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we spend, I don't know, maybe the next 30 minutes talking about Randy Quaid's performance in this movie? Listen, oh, I think he was the only committed God. member of this cast. I think I you're right. I like he had pathos. I thought he. I thought he had. Um, uh, he was obviously doing. He had done some movement work. I yes. don't know if he worked with a coach, a movement coach. Uh, Randy Quaid, just so you know, it plays the robot bodyguard who is an older model, and he had, talks very weird like this, like the whole movie. And, but yes. and they modulated his voice a bit too. Yes. I don't. Yes. I think that may have been Randy Quaid. What? Regardless, I think he was <laughs> overlooked during awards season. Really? Do you, I don't know what else was up. Do you think that this is the performance that uh, a got, lifetime? Yes. yes, that they got the people against him. All the people who, who was they say who was against him? Randy Quaid. Oh, the, uh, the the Hollywood uh, the Hollywood mafia. The Hollywood mafia yes. was his performance too good in this, and that's why the Hollywood <laughs> mafia. Is coming I feel out. like this movie might have driven him into absolute insanity. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like he might have never recovered because this is the kind of role that you disappear into. Mm-hmm. He just you might do. never have come out of it. Like he a Daniel played- Day-Lewis type of situation. Totally. <laughs> yeah. I want to know what was up with all the robot sex drive. Yes. Every was like, robot was oh, horny yeah. as horny. shit. Yeah. yeah. And they oh and like there was one time That's where really Randy Quaid says I can't have sex with her because she has like mm-hmm. 120 volt I'm, circuits or and I have she's 220 he's 110 yeah and he goes well, why can't you get an adapter and he goes just doesn't feel right <laughs> yeah. oh, oh God. God. yeah no, whoever that's that's wrote condom this joke, movie, right condom joke it's yeah a, oh it's a condom joke but it's also you know what. It's advocating unsafe sex, guys. Between yeah. robots. You know, Maybe it's throw like that a... adapter on and get Why in would there. you invent robots that could fuck each other? I mean, I guess that has a, a, a Who's thing. Who's like, our servant slash bodyguard robots are boring. What do they need? I don't know. Horniness? Yeah, like, what? let's watch them fuck. And I then guess, when ugh. Louis Guzman pulls... What did you call him? Louis Guzman? Louis? Isn't that his name? Yeah, What's his Louis name? Louis. Louis. Louis Guzman? Oh, Lennon's doing it with the right accent. <laughs> oh, L U I S. Okay, Guzman. sorry. Luis Louis Guzman and Louis C.K. <laughs> Louis and Tom Select. And Tom Select. 
Uh, Louis Luis Guzman <laughs> has to jump start Randy Quaid at some point, yes. and has to pull like a metal rod out of his zipper to attach a <sighs> jumper cable to. At and which point I was like, what the fuck is going on? This is And sexy. the whole time, Lu- Luis Guzman is afraid that Randy Quaid's going to wake up and fuck him to death. Yeah. Right. And that, Go that's Terminator what they say. on him. That's what they, yeah. He talks about that fear before. So I was thinking we'd see some of that. That's By the way, real, can we even... And are you were excited for it, I bet. Okay. Yeah, of course. Just FYI, those, they were like dead, right? That's for your right? information. Yes. They, they died. They, they ran, ran out, out of, of air. And then they should have died because that... Was like I believe they did die. I mean, but here, then they were woken back up with just yeah, the breath with magic, of with magic stuff. Well, magic, po- ma- let magic. Let's, let's even just talk about this scene. Their car blows up. Their amazing oh car, which is being piloted by John Cleese. Which we'll Why get do to. all futuristic space cars look like old timey cars <laughs> the from the like, 1930s? Same reason that all the women had yeah. 40s hairstyles. Yes. Which is what? Yeah, because they the had moon, there was like the moon is going on a different. <laughs> it's a retro angle. So what basically, wait, 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 wait. Their, car, their car is blown up, and like, and then Rosaria <laughs> Dawson's like, oh my god, what are we going to do? We don't have food or water. They're in space suits. They're, they're in space like suits. out on the surface of the moon now. Right. And he's, and he's like, well, don't worry about food or water, because we're going to run out of air sooner than later. And they, and, uh, and they, they die, because they run <laughs> out of air. And then all of a sudden comes this... Winna- the space Winnebago, driven Louis- by Guzman. Louis Guzman. Like Louis. it is the like you. This is not even a first draft of the movie. This is like kind of an outline that was like yeah. a, that oh, no yeah. one ever even looked at or gave notes. It's like the, it was like morning pages. This is morning pages. Like <laughs> and then yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, and then he comes. This is Wait. the artist way. Or it's like somebody got somebody people were journaling this movie. Somebody <laughs> journaled this. I feel movie. like people skipped by it and probably got got dailies and were like, "Wait, what the fuck? Did they just die? Yeah." Did the- did they just die in the fucking oh, movie? Oh, no, don't worry, though. Uh, we, we've established that no one travels on this side of the moon, but we'll make uh, we'll, we'll definitely make a guy in a, in a, in a random... Yeah, we'll just have a guy drive by and um, <laughs> give him a little bit of oxygen, and guess what? They're fine. <laughs> that They're was back. A, that was the best song, the song he was listening to. That oh, was yeah. good. Uh, there's a lot of amazingly bad hip hop. Like, <laughs> like, it's like it's like somebody tried to like whoever is doing the music. They're like, let's combine it. It's like it's hip hop, but it's old school. So it's like everything is a mixture of like it's like Soft. brown. Like that's what I feel like it's like it's not. It's like oh yeah, we'll mix red and blue and we'll get brown. Well, everything the, I in feel movie like is everything, bad. everything in this movie, the music especially, but like the costuming and everything was like okay, let's take what people are super into right now and then think about how it might be futurish. Yeah, like, to just what, cut a hole out of her, just the yes. bottom part of her pants. Like, well, how's it going to be like just crazy future moon music? <laughs> well, I mean, I think the best future vision was uh, when they go to pay him $10 million and all the dollar bills are oh, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Wow. Yeah. Boom. Still works. The joke still works. Killing it. What about moon dancing? The first uh, oh, episode. yeah, the moon what dance. What the fuck oh, yeah. was that? Now, they paid money for a choreographer. They yes, said, yes. come up with a moon dance. Not only a choreographer, mm. those were clearly not just background extras. Those no, were dancers. those were yeah, extra dancers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Extra. Those were dancers. Same <laughs> dancers who I believe used in the uh, space rave in The Matrix 2. <laughs> yeah. uh, basically, the, their moon dance is, I would describe it as... Punching, punching and the stepping, yeah, and, and yeah, also punching. like like this. There's well, lots of, a lot of second. angles, lots, lots of right angles, lots of yeah. right angle movements, a lot of perpendicular steps, and, <laughs> and they're not dancing with each other. They're very separate. They're yeah. all yeah, very separate from each other. Life on the moon is lonely. I you guess know, so. And, and you have to like don't touch. Like no. you got to be just like it's you don't very get too mechanical. close. And, yes, it is. It's like everybody's a robot. Uh, robot. That, well, robot. Yes, I, I can't talk today. Did you guys like the Smart Water ad that Eddie Murphy stands in front of? Yeah. When they're giving some information, they stand in front of a smart water ad. Lasso. Wait, can we get back to what was John Cleese's role in that car? Like, right, so what John was Cleese his was the butler function? of the car, but he was he not was a, a ro- car butler. He didn't provide any information to further he the plot. He was a hologram. No. I'm fairly a- certain he shot that part in his own uh, house in London. In, like, yeah. They didn't even require yes. him. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't even really set. put him in costume. He's not no. even in a butler costume. He's in like an okay suit. He, he found he, like but, an old cap and put it on and just put himself on. At a certain <laughs> point, Randy Quaid, he is the, okay, John Cleese is a hologram or a, or a, P, a, a video so screen. he's not a person. Yeah. He's no. not a I'm person. Asking. Okay. He's a hologram or a video screen, whatever, who's like, you're not the owner of this car. You can't drive this car. I'm calling the police. That's Randy really Quaid, thank you, <laughs> by the way, thank you so much. You should audition uh, for The Minister SNL. of Silly Wonks. Ah, <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, then Randy Quaid <laughs> points a gun at the computer screen yeah. and is like, we got to get out of here. And he's like, okay, okay. Like, you can't you, kill a hologram. You can't, yeah. you, that's imp- what? 
The, the hologram. Hologram. hologram should have no fear of mortality. Of course. Yeah. Boy, but I really guess if robots statement. are horny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that's a, I, that's would, a I wish I was a hologram. That's a, that's a lost Philip K. Dick novel, I think. <laughs> oh, a hologram should have no fear of mortality. <laughs> and then they have these like terrible ads throughout all the like thing. Like they sometimes do these overhead shots of like Moon Village or whatever they're in, Little America. And it's and they're not funny, nor are they interesting. Like one is uh Need lumbar support? We'll replace your spine with a <laughs> lunar lumbar support. Yeah. Like, like it's, yeah. it's, it's not. It's it's nothing. It is. It's like it's like it's that, not going for a joke. It's oh, maybe that's in the future. I don't like know. That to like, me was all like, ugh. You know what? We need all of these big establishing shots of the world that we created and spent hundreds America. of millions of dollars on. But it's boring. Let's ADR some like advertisements or, yeah, or yeah. and then they wrote those lines, so, which were you know what? horrible. I realize I started to feel insane halfway through the movie because there's no sunlight. In no, it's true. It feels no, it is weeks. dark the entire yeah. time. It's like when you go to Vegas and had, you start yeah, to feel I felt sick crazy. to your stomach because yes. it's a smell of. It's almost like the no. movie gave me seasonal affective disorder. It did. Uh, I have sad. <laughs> I have it. I have sad. You mean sads? <laughs> I can't. Sad I can't have sad. You know what else this movie made me feel? A certain sickness that I've only felt when um when I watched Howard the Duck. It had a that's similar. Such a, that's a good comparison. Oh, right? Wow. It's yeah. Great. And what is that? Is it the is it the time it's the with pops Howard of Duck color? Made? Yeah. It's like those big bold. Like I remember it very clearly when she brings him at one point lunch. And it, every item on the tray, from the glasses to the, everything, is so brightly colored yeah. and crazy looking that I was like, that is perfectly the problem with but this again, movie. But again, I maintain that in 2000, 2002, the production designer should have had a better oh, aesthetic sorry. than this. It was the same guy as Cool as Ice. It was? Oh. No, it wow. wasn't. Uh, it was. <laughs> that makes but it might as well have been. The director, well this, the director was the same director who directed uh, City Slickers. Yes, yeah, City which Slickers. Which I don't know. I my favorite movie. Yes. In that film. I love City Slickers. Yeah. So, and, and that, so I didn't know that. Heidi Joe happen? Young as well. But, uh, and Tremors <laughs> 4. Was that about a gorilla? His career, his and career. And Tremors 1. Yeah, Tremors 1. He kind of went down there. Which is a cult favorite. Don't people like Tremors? Worms that come out of the... Aren't people still into Tremors, guys? Guys? We all like Tremors. Guys? No, but seriously, those people. Are on board All I tremors. remember about yes. Tremors is that my friend Jenny started fucking around with uh, my boyfriend at the time, Tom Hall. While you, while tre- when it Tremors was during came a out? youth group lock-in. While she, you were watching got, Tremors, she got yeah. fingered. While, so, while it might not have been Jenny, he was your boyfriend, Francis. What? He was your boyfriend and he fingered someone during Tremors in a youth she, lockdown? Jessica I just said finger. <laughs> well, okay. either way, that to would be, be the best. That happened. would actually be the best I'm way to... I'm sorry if fingered is the wrong that word. To get fingered well, during Tremors happened. might be the best thing that could ever happen. Yeah, well, that's amazing. the thing. As the, as the worm's coming out of the fucking ground, Boom. you know where the worm is going into. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a wiener in her mouth. Yeah. Speaking of Bouge. sex scenes... The moment when Sweaty <laughs> Murphy kisses Sweaty Rosario, Murphy? Sweaty Murphy kisses Rosario Dawson <laughs> is the strangest. Oh yeah, they kiss for a while because he's hiding from one of the mafia guys. Right, and, and we never see his angle on the mm-hmm. kiss. By the no. way, only it's hers. Pro- by the way, I bet it's his body double did that. You can, right, you can, you can is, see how many times because yeah. they never yeah. cut to him. Yeah. By the way, didn't he do? Uh, he did another movie with Rosario Dawson. Go ahead, yeah. But anyway, then. Then she finally pulls away from the kiss, and she gives like a 15 second reaction take, which mm-hmm. is just that her socks have been blown <laughs> yeah. up, off. Now this kiss, there's no mouth movement. Mm-hmm. It's like just like two mouths have been like puzzle <laughs> like pieces. Yes, it kissing. is Stuck really together. upsetting. There's okay, wait. Nothing mm-hmm. happening. Whoa, in whoa, this whoa, kiss. whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that how you kiss? Oh, oh God. God. Brother. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Brother. guys, guys! Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop no, the but clock. in all seriousness. <laughs> Whoa, this whoa, is whoa. how you kiss. It, this is how you kiss. kiss. It was, guys, you mash your mouth together. <laughs> yeah. And then wait. And it's you a count, you, it's you, you such, don't ha- I push no my movement. lips to her lips. I count to mm-hmm. 60. I pull away and I watch her come. Yeah. And she was like, "Oh my." I mean, she was <laughs> she reacted. Floored oh by my that god. Kiss. Another thought- romantic moment that I really enjoyed was when he went to the Remember he went and got champagne? Oh, yeah. And literally two seconds later, he turned around and she was asleep. Asleep. Right. Asleep. John Cleese yes, had said, oh, oh, now you guys are going to get busy, yeah. right? Yes. You're going to take you know have was... your way with her? Yeah. And then he turned around and he was like, oh, she's asleep and put it put his coat over. He yeah. also very awkwardly, and I don't know why I remember this, but in the final scene where she realizes that he's killed, she, he has killed bad Eddie Murphy. Yes. And then he is the real Eddie, Mur- Eddie Murphy. He kissed her on the top of the shoulder. 
Oh, he was like, know. he was like, did well, I, he went, did me, I scare you? And then ooh. like, kiss oh, her yeah, on the well, there was something that me, was I didn't very want fatherly. them to get together because it was like, mm-hmm. that was his best friend's daughter. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what he they established. He should have felt fatherly and not yeah. No, wait a second. Let's talk about Just Eddie Murphy's mother for a hot second. Pam Greer? Yeah. She was phenomenal. Pam Greer. I mean, this movie She is, brought her own wardrobe. Is that her own She did her own hair and makeup and she brought her own wardrobe. I hope we're all clear. Oh, yeah, I'm clear about that. And her own weapons. Yeah. And then she just would disappear from scenes that she had just been running past. Oh, yes. In. yes. Remember that? Probably because they couldn't locate her on set. They're like, we can't get. Last let's time we saw her, she was at craft service. Let's just keep Let's just keep shooting. Let's pretend like she just wasn't here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> just keep on going. And that old cop that she was in love with that she would never marry. Peter Boyle. Peter Boyle. They never followed through on that. No. I he was killed. I see them get together, though, before Oh, he was he killed, was and killed. then she was so I feel upset. like they shot that scene and we just never saw they it. They never though. followed through. I would through. love to have seen a sex scene between Pam Greer and <laughs> Peter, Peter Boyle. Boyle. Peter Boyle. Oh. That would have made that did, movie did, worth did, it. Like, Everybody. Can I ask you guys a question for real? <laughs> If Absolutely. you lived in a future world in which you had like a robot bodyguard or a robot mate or whatever, would you have sex in front of the robot? Well, no. I thought this we were actually... This is an earnest question because, no, because they were they... always, people were um, always almost getting it on while the robot was there. Well, and I yeah. think that was, here's what was weird about that. I thought we were setting up that when the robot was being charged, that they he was could not conscious. hear things, but they didn't understand what they were hearing, right? No, no that, was, that, was only when that, they were getting, that yeah. was only when they were getting a phone call. Yeah, yeah. When, when they were he was transcribing reading, yeah. a phone I call. See, because I thought what we were only for building the toward models. was a sex scene between Rosaria Dawson uh-huh. and, and Murphs, which the robot would have witnessed... And they thought they would have thought obviously well, he didn't yeah. hear anything, but then he would have. But the reason that Murphy didn't get rid <laughs> he really of thought about this never yeah. his robot was because he kept he kept twenty years of secrets. Remember, he didn't want to get right. rid of. He said, "Okay, he all good smuggle spot. secrets." Smuggle oh. secrets. So that's also the name of a <laughs> smuggle secret. You guys, oh, here's you know a very. Do, you know what I'm going to do to you later? <laughs> I'm going to smuggle secret gonna, the uh, shit out of you. I'm going to give you all my smuggle secrets. <laughs> you guys, here's a serious question. <laughs> Another one? Yeah. All right. Did the bad guys in the movie want to just build casinos on the moon yes. and get gambling there? Or also want a clone on the moon? No, I think it was just Cloning secrets. Was just- the clone was because they knew that Eddie Murphy could be a good club runner. How did they know that from when he was in prison? No idea. Okay, but how did they know question, from prison no. that he would... This is a huge problem. That's why I thought he was already a club runner. How did runner? they know in did, prison when they made a clone of him that he would then go on to run a a club. They just thought he was a good smuggler and this guy would have good, he'd be good. He'd, he'd be a puppet. He'd be a puppet and he'd be real good. <laughs> it, was, it was a leap of faith. But what they didn't predict was that he was... That he did have that. That he would have a mind of his own. Yeah, But I guess what I'm asking, though, is was cloning in the, you know, in the world of this movie, were a lot of people cloned? No. I don't well, think yeah, so. Cloning I mean, is James illegal. Yeah. Wife. James Mark cloned, cloned and his so wife. Was, and so was his old partner. But yeah. cloning, uh, uh, cloning the, is illegal, remember? Yeah, it was uh, banned. It was made illegal, and that doctor had to go out of business, and then Ileana Douglas had to do it on the sly. But mm-hmm. also, Peter Boyles, he goes, eh. He goes, you know, they, Peter Boyle visits one of his old cop friends in like a mini scene where he's, yep. like, he's like, oh, man, in the old days, you know, wasn't it good to be partners? And he's like, yeah, but... I'm a clone. You know, he didn't say that, but then he kills him. But he's a clone too. But I want to talk about the Alec Baldwin scene. The that Robert you De Niro, think, the Robert De Niro scene. Ah, <laughs> you think that Alec Baldwin is going to be the big bad guy of the yeah. movie? It's like he finds out that this mafia guy. The plot is incomprehensible. It's like it is like the worst Raymond Chandler novel. It's like a Raymond Chandler novel. Ri- like certain pages were ripped out, so you can't make it make sense. But he Written finds by like somebody who normally writes like a Nickelodeon TV show. Exactly. And so now Alec Baldwin pops up as this mafia guy who talks about making gambling, then pushes a guy down the stairs. On camera. On camera. And then also pulls a reporter close to him and is like, hey, honey, you want to ask me questions? Come to my hotel room later in the night. (laughs) On camera. On 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 a news camera. Yeah, it was all on court TV, live on court TV. Because again, court TV has been huge in the future. Yep, 2087, (laughs) court TV. What happened to Alec Alec Baldwin Guys, I feel really upset right now because I don't know... I might have fallen asleep during the reveal of Eddie Murphy's clone. And here is my question. I thought that perhaps Alec Baldwin's brain had been put into Eddie Murphy's body. Yeah, that's what happened. Is that what happened? No. No. (laughs) We we blew it. Oh, no. What happened to Alec Baldwin? (laughs) I thought he was in charge. He's Rex. Uh Uh-huh. What happened to him? He's not Rex. No, he's not Rex. 
Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy is, is Rex. Rex Carter. I don't understand <laughs> what's happening. Eddie right Murphy now. was fighting himself <laughs> the feel, entire movie. I feel scared right now. Yeah, I know. I, I know. feel right. scared and upset right now. I don't. What happened? Who was he then? All right. So what? He did, was did, the Earth the version wait, 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 of Rex wait, wait, wait. Let, her, the, let her describe yeah, what happened to him. Yeah. What do you think happened? I don't know. Break That's it down for us. I mean, you down. saw two Eddie Murphys, and what did you think at that point? I thought that <laughs> when Rex, Murph on Murph. <laughs> the I Murph and Murph that fight Rex, broke out. That okay. Rex Carter he had somehow thinner, become, gotten into the brain of the Eddie Murphy so that he, the whole time he was looking to kill himself. His own, <laughs> as himself or as Rex Carter? No, he, that Rex, I don't know. So you were understand. basically what I'm understanding is at some point in that last Carter scene, you Eddie thought Murphy. bad Eddie Murphy was going to like unzip himself yes, and yes. be Alec Baldwin. Yes. Here's I, what, I, this I is, thought he was yeah. living with inside of him. This is the way, this is the like way I understand off. it. This is the way wow. I understand wow. this movie. Living with inside of him. This is the first time <laughs> that genuine how did this get made confusion has almost reduced a guest to tears. Uh... <laughs> If you guys could see me right now, I've taken off all my clothes and I'm just, I'm huddling, I'm it shivering is, in the corner. And it is not cool. <laughs> this this is how I understand it. Um, basically, Alec Baldwin was a mafia guy and he was like, How a did queen. you know from the footage? On Earth, from the footage. No, and he's like, Earth. Oh, hey, these guys is crazy. I'm the rubber to do, blah, blah, blah. You know. I mean, it is like, it, it's like, it would, it's like a great Alec Baldwin on SNL sketch. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and he's like, and so he. Decided, okay, I gotta get control of the moon, but how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna clone a guy who's a really great smuggler, get him up there, and he's gonna work for me. And then he did that, cloned Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's like, hey, guess what? Alec Baldwin, you get out of here. I don't like you. And he shot him into space. And then Eddie Murphy grew his power and then decided to hurt the other Eddie Murphy, <laughs> hurt himself. Because he wanted None to buy his of what own you're blood. saying makes any sense. Okay, so I, I I'm agree. I'm not stupid. No, 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 you're I'm not, not stupid. a stupid person. Well, I mean, here's the other point I'd like to <laughs> make there is, is another, that yeah. Eddie Murphy, the good Eddie Murphy, really only had one club. Pluto Nash, right? Yeah. It wasn't like he had an empire. No, but he had the he had only the most, good club, the most in, profitable club in Little. How America. much money yeah. do you? How many Hillarys do you think that <laughs> that club it was worth? Ten was million Hillary. It. it was ten worth million. million. That's yeah. what they were going to offer. Ten million him. is not so that much. Not much. But in two thousand eighty-seven, how ten much million is not much now. But never that's mind. What they were offering him to buy it I off of him. So how much, like nightly, do you think he was? Oh, what's wrong with? Oh, interesting. Do you know well, what I mean? are there yeah. taxes on the moon? Do we know? There are no taxes. For him to walk Gambling away, is legal. for him to walk away from that, they, ten million dollars. Yeah, and he didn't seem to seem insulted by the ten. Million. He was more insulted by the fact they were offering to buy him out. Okay, I have now. I feel like I now have an, uh, what I thought was the understanding of the end of the movie that yeah. I now think might also be wrong. What okay, you, what do you Let's got? What do you got? Tell us what you think. When it's revealed that Eddie Murphy <laughs> is Eddie is the bad He's guy, Eddie, right? Right. Yeah. I was like, oh. But he has still the name, right? Right. He is. No, he's, he's Rex, Rex Carter. Car yeah. Rex Carter. He has okay? Rex Carter. Okay. So this is what I couldn't understand because I was like, oh, what he's going to do is kill Pluto Nash and then become Pluto Nash because he is him. Then he can run. He can have ownership of the club and he doesn't have to buy it. He doesn't have to do anything because he actually looks exactly like you the guy he wants to be. thought he was just be. going to sort of assume Pluto, he, but, the yes, role but, of Pluto uh, Nash. And yeah. then but, he was like, but I'm going to call it. Planet Rex and a, or, or, or or Club yeah. Rex instead of Club Pluto or whatever. Yeah, so and then I was like, okay, well that doesn't make sense now because what? if you called it Club Pluto, you that now you're just taking over and then building on whatever it is you want to do. You can make it the club a casino because you are being him. But, but that was not his plan. Right. That actually no, is a, that, that is a plan. better plan. Thank um, you, Paul. I think that is a better plan. But here's the thing: let's do no a remake. One, <laughs> no one's seen Eddie Murphy as Rex Carter. Yes. Rex Carter Except is for on one person. James Rebhorn, right? Yeah, yes. James Rebhorn, uh, which, why was he in this movie? Why was anybody in this so movie? So we're to understand that, that Rex Carter was just living in the penthouse of this hotel. Never going outside. Correct. Never going outside. Never seeing anyone Beach. Lunar Beach in Lunar Beach. In Lunar Beach, except for James Rebhorn. <laughs> exactly. So how did Rex Carter come into existence? He because was a clone a of... Alec Baldwin... Cloned him. Cloned him when Eddie Murphy got in his appendix surgery here's, back in jail. Okay. Okay. Back here's in, a question yeah. about it. And then what happened to WDW? Well, what what happened was once Eddie Murphy clone decided, found out that they were using him as a puppet. He's like, I don't like pup to be used as a puppet. So I blasted them into mm -hmm. space. 
So when did that happen? Did oh, wait, I, see I missed that. that. Oh, he said time. that. He goes, I blasted the No, that's a scene we should have seen. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't. Yeah. Show, I don't something. Something. You don't show, show don't tell. You don't show don't tell. Show don't tell. I'm not an experienced writer, but what I do know is you don't say a big plot point like, I need to see that. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea that, too. I need a visual on that one. Well, yeah, you so, needed a flashback. Or maybe you could have had him cryogenically, about- like, bring back the chihuahua, call back to uh, the chihuahua. Yeah. You could have had him in a freezer. That made me very sad. Ooh, yeah, that the chihuahua. They, they cryogenically freeze chihuahuas to bring them to the planet. So when you clone someone, like, this movie's... <laughs> Just say it. Like, this so, movie so has the most though, questions though, we've are, ever are had. Are we to oh, understand that when Hands down, the worst movie we've ever done, right? When they cloned Pluto Nash, that Rex Carter arrived just in the same age, same body, same everything, yes. with yes. all of the memories. So I believe of Rex Nash. Carter is as as much as he is identical to Eddie Murphy, he is only about five years old. Actually, right. yes. And yes. what I'm realizing now, though, he has all the memories no, of the forty year old Eddie he Murphy. Would be over seven years old because they did sorry, that happen right. when he was in yes, prison. Yes, I'm sorry, you're right. I Wait, forgot you guys to think, do you guys think, old. though, that yeah. they shot a scene of actually seeing his appendix come out and seeing him in prison for a while? No. no. So, oh, really? Because while I was watching it, I thought they were never going to start opening on the opening on Jay Moore. We probably well, that was should a very, have seen very low yeah. stakes scene. Yes, yeah. we should have seen him in prison for a while, serving his prison time, well, like wait, but, Jean Valjean style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then if they had made this movie more like Les Mis, well, we, we wouldn't be here right the now. Mo- we the, see the appendix come out, the, and then we should have seen him out. That, but then that would have ruined the line later, which was, "Hey, remember when you were in prison and you got your appendix out, Eddie Murphy?" <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Guy, well, right. we made a clone of you, and then Baba, and that would, it would have taken away that, that monologue that explained all of that. Yeah, I did that when that's I auditioned true. for grad school in acting. I did that monologue. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Yeah, I didn't get it. You didn't. <laughs> no. Shocking. No. This, uh, this really. Second. Let yeah. me just. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. So, but we've the, the comparison that we have in the movie itself, in the world of the movie, when someone is cloned. They behave exactly the same way because Jay Moore's wife was cloned, and, they and he gets speak, to say which the, ones they which, speak and he says right. who's care, right? And then they speak at the same time. They They're behave, the they suck person. his dick at the same time, right? That's why you clone I wish, a wife. Do you think they they shot a scene where they sucked his dick at the same time? I think they wanted to because I would have watched that over and over <laughs> again. So. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> what is this guy? How is this guy? How is He's this not second clone, Eddie? Absolutely yeah. right. Something went wrong own, in that cloning. Have his yes. Own why brain. does he have a free will? Basically. Now, can I ask this? I, I really, right. I don't understand anything about this movie. But were the the bad clone Eddie Murphy? Yes. Was he? Currently becoming very popular in the in the uh, like building that popular casino while Pluto Nash was doing his own club and why didn't they know about it? Is Lunar Beach so far away from where? Well, Pluto Lunar Nash Beach was? is on the other side of the moon. But don't they? But no one has ever no one's no ever, one ever seen saw. Bad Eddie Murphy. They yeah. don't know. He's but just did name. Eddie Murphy think to himself? Well, that's weird. There's another. What was it called? Pluto? No, something? it was no, a casino no, 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 no. and it was all uh, Rex Eddie Murphy. Had, like, that was the, the notorious. whole big reveal at the end. It was like. Who is Rex Carver? And then the chair turns. And then it was him. It was Eddie Murphy. I thought Rex it was going to be Ileana Douglas. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Alec Baldwin because they set him up. So as, did I. Yeah. No, oh, but you could see that it was a little a little person. And you also uh, thought, Paul, because you said it out loud, that you thought it was going to be Jay Moore. I thought, yeah. Jay, I thought Jay Moore. <laughs> I thought Jay Moore at a certain point. Did anybody else Jay notice Moore. that when Luis Guzman was at the um, casino and he was supposed to be surrounded by like gorgeous Beautiful women, that those were the saddest group one of, of them extras you've ever seen in your yeah. life? I the thought, one with the I lace thought, down the front looked that pregnant. Yeah, those were the... Extra. In my mind, the story I told myself was, oh, these are porn stars and there's going to be a scene later where they're naked. Uh, because I was like, wow. that's wishful thinking. I guess it I was, but I was like, I, I don't know why. PG. These girls look so they like were... broken and gross. Yeah. I was like, I bet they are going to have to do a nude yeah, scene later. It's rough stuff. They up. may have just gone I to the city t- walk and gathered up some women they found yeah. and put them in the movie. I they ran they out could of have money. shot this entire movie in a Bubba Gump shrimp factory. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> it looked it like looks, they did. It looks like it no, looks the, like what that. Was the the movie in Times <laughs> Square, like twenty thousand. Oh, oh, Mars twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Mars twenty twelve. Have you ever been to New yes. York? That re- that restaurant has better production value. Yes, yes. but and the, the movie cost a hundred million dollars no. to make. Yes, one hundred million dollars. And it was made Eddie Murphy's and budget. And opening weekend, office. two million. <laughs> That's insane. Do you think Eddie Murphy? 
Should have killed demanded himself after twi- <laughs> Do you think he demanded twice his fee since he was cloned in the movie? I have to say, I am not. Uh, did he get, this is the beginning. I wonder about that maid. That maid played like 20 different maids in yeah, it. Yeah, that was the same maid from the hotel. Yeah, yeah. It yeah was? it's the same girl. Wow. So you think hmm. all those models of those robots look exactly alike? But yes. what about but Randy But then why Quaid? didn't we see more Randy Quaid's? Because he was a 63. Yeah, because he's an old model. Can I just say, though, I think that regardless of how bad this movie was, I didn't feel like Eddie Murphy was phoning it in. He didn't seem... He was I acting. Know. He was I acting. Know. No, no, he was, was acting. Not, I will say this. It was not in his wheelhouse. No, no. because... We're asking him. I well, I don't know what he was even asking, because it's not an la- action I movie. I wanted it's laugh. Not a, I want, he yeah. was wanted. doing a lot of naturalistic acting, yep. a lot yes. of lower energy stuff. Yes. Which, which <laughs> I don't know. No, what, we're not same. coming to the... We're not paying our tickets to see low energy. Well, also, energy. like, this is, if I'm not mistaken, like, the era of Nutty Professor and, like, his big kind of crazy roles. And I'll tell you what, there were some, you know, there were some shots when he just smiles and laughs even a little where I found myself very charming. Yes. <laughs> I, I agree. I was very with me you. Too. I was like, and I did oh. really feel, oh, there's a great moment. Did it, it, cause, it, only because I was obsessed with um, the movie as a Star Wars ripoff in a lot of ways. Um, the, That's very the, kind. The lunar movie. chase, yeah. the he's basically Han Solo, who's a smuggler, the, all these kind of things. Mm-hmm. And then at, at the begin, at the, in the first big shootout, she runs in and she screams, it's a trap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She which is oh, like a total Star yes. Wars line. I, I was like, say, I don't. I was like, I wonder if they're making this, if they're doing uh, this on maybe. purpose, I don't just think. like burying these little Star Wars references. I will. I will say just to put it in perspective, this is a very sad time in Eddie Murphy's career. This movie came out. These are the movies that came out roughly around Pluto Nash. Probably. Doctor Doolittle two. Showtime. Eddie Murphy and Robert De Niro. I Spy. Eddie Murphy and Owen oh. Wilson. Um, and then it was Norbert? Haunted Mansion. Oh no! And uh, and then I was, guess he didn't really get back on track. And then Dreamgirls came out. Was this uh, around the time of his arrest? No, Ooh. no, that's. Uh, I think let's, that's. Let's get a date arrest? on that. Yeah, I, I love that. I think that's Could you earlier. Access the cloud? Yeah, so I'm gonna get on that right access now. Access the cloud right? if you computer, could. Computer, <laughs> computer, search for criminal masterminds, <laughs> Earthlings. Uh, Initials WZW. 97. 97, he was arrested. But it's not that. That's five years. That's not a long time. I don't think he was bringing that so baggage think, in. Yeah, well, I did, because I felt him. there was sadness behind his eyes. That's what I saw. You know what? I, I, I gotta think say, the first scene, the first scene when his friend, again, did he know Jay Moore before? Yeah, that? They, yes, they, they, were were they were old friends. They grew up together. Friends. Okay, fine. But that first scene when his best friend's about to get acid and he poured didn't down care. his throat. He was just he, playing it cool. It was so casual. He, he didn't he care. Also, he did not give a he, fuck. Like you that know what's the interesting? That scene, though, guys. This well, is what I felt. Even the gangsters were playing it. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Was it? That scene is the best scene in the movie. Everybody's playing it more real. Eddie Murphy's <laughs> dressed right. in normal clothing. Yes. And yes. It, the minute it goes seven years later, it is as if... It's everybody's in colorful zoot suits. It's like the moon is suddenly Disneyland or a weird. Like, I felt like the first scene was like Barry Levinson could have directed it. Yes. You know, and then, and, then they suddenly, and then they fired Except him for the and they brought in Barry Sonnenfeld. Except for the jug of battery acid. <laughs> uh, now, clearly, we had we, we did not love this movie, but there are some people <laughs> who really did. And now it's Aww. time for a second opinion. These are reviews from Amazon.com. People who had a different thought about this film. If you want to relax and have fun while eating popcorn, then this is the movie for you. Politely disagree. Five stars. No. What? I love that because that's no, that- just about having something to do while, while you eating eat popcorn. popcorn. You don't yeah. need an excuse, by the way. <laughs> yes, you can is- eat it whenever you want. Nope, this guy thinks it's a... If you Get a bag have- of smart food. Eat it whenever uh, you want. If you you want- you're already yeah, while you're popcorn, eating it. If you while want a- you're eating it, yeah. you need to do something. Well, if you want a secondary activity to your main activity, which <laughs> that is... Won't distract you. Popcorn. Popcorn. Shoveling popcorn in your fat fucking face, <laughs> then you could do worse than look at this moving image. Here's another five star review from J. Neil Shulman. Pluto Nash just tells a good, solid, well plotted near future no. science fiction adventure story with a light touch, the sort of story that fans of Heinlein's short stories, It's Great to Be Back, and The Menace from Earth would appreciate. That's well, Robert that's true. Hein- Is that Ro- no. Yeah. No. <laughs> but maybe sci fi fans, maybe there's something of the serial nature of the I don't, of I the don't know. This I mean, guy I goes, I'm s- a big fan of Star Wars. <laughs> 
Spaceballs, and Titan AE. And this goes Oof. right on the shelf next to those. In that, by the way, next that's your a perfect order. <laughs> that's a perfect order in descending order of great movie to Drek. I love Spaceballs. Spaceballs is number two. Spaceballs is number two. Star Wars, Spaceballs, Titan AE. Garbage. Terrible garbage. And then (laughs) Pluto Nash. Those movies actually don't share anything in common. It's like, I love Citizen Kane. (laughs) I love Caddyshack. Uh, Sea of Love with Al Pacino. (laughs) Abduction with Taylor Lautner. And How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. (laughs) With Kate Hudson. I enjoy that movie. Great film. Oh, my God. No, you don't. Nobody enjoys that movie. Yes, we did enjoy that movie. Great chemistry. Yeah, they did. Can't be denied. Yeah. Any uh, any final so thoughts on this? Things that we, we have not gorgeous. addressed. Can we just give a shout out to the one man orchestra joke? Oh, oh that was pretty good. That, was, that was a joke. Made me smile. Can we talk about Randy Quaid as a robot, please? Do we have Again? any clips of Randy Quaid as a robot? There are talking? no clips online. I'm for telling me to pull. you guys, watch this movie just just for the Randy Quaid scenes. He's which great. yeah, which he you know what he is like? It's like. Um, it's like uh, it's like he's a cartoon character in a in a movie in, a, in yes. the movie. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he moves. He's a human cartoon. He, he character. moves at crazy angles. He speaks with a modulated robot voice. He probably. You know what? I just a found clown. a clip. I can maybe uh, I can play he's it. Bald. Here. He's um, bald with like zapper heads, things in his did head. Did they make him taller than he is? They, How tall yeah, they is must Randy have. Quaid? Well, everybody tall. knows Randy Quaid is six seven. Is he? <laughs> Well, I think yeah, that's, that's promising basketball that's career. That's universally known. He's a known. tall man, for sure. No, but he looked much, but Eddie Murphy's not a big man. No, no, he's no, teeny he's, tiny. Yeah, he's a teeny he's tiny I also liked when that. Luis Guzman said that Pluto Nash was the Tito Puente of rail hopping. <laughs> yes. Which is their term for smuggling. Which I was like, why make that reference? That reference is, at this point, a hundred years old. Mm-hmm. Again, they watch... Jimmy, yeah, they're 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 not. They're they were watching, watching that Humphrey Bogart. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice cut. Went from from oh, when yeah. that guy got shot to and fell yes. down to the Humphrey Bogart movie where the same was happening. So, no, it's yeah. it's. Uh, what, wait, what, what is that? Public Enemy? Is that James Cagney? Uh, public Enemy? Yeah, that was public. I think that was Public Enemy. It probably cost. A lot to get that clip. That's why they didn't have the money. That was $100 that million. Dollars spent on that. That's why those extras were so ugly. Yes. Oh. That's why they oh. had such fugly extras. We spent extras. all the money paying Eddie Murphy twice <laughs> Yeah, and on that clip of James Cagney. <laughs> would you guys recommend people watching this movie? I, I don't think I would. No. I don't no, think so. It's no, it's not even fun. It's not fun. It's not, not fun. fun. It's it felt not like f- homework. If, yeah. You know well, yeah, here's the thing. I was like, I gotta get through this. I felt bad for you guys watching it. At a certain point, I was like, fuck, this is interminable how much do I have left and I'd only been watching 24 minutes yeah. and I almost burst into tears yeah because there is no ju- your, life, it's only like your a- life is precious do you know what yeah. I mean your moments my time is worth more like than this like sands in an hourglass yeah. so go the right. days of our lives right. don't oh, waste boy. it watching oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's right. only it's only an hour and 34 minutes it is really? not a long it movie longer it than feels I watch it in two months. installments oh you know what Me too. it should have been a TV series <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly they so, primed it for. I feel there like, are more adventures out yeah. there. Oh, well, we, not one. we did the work for you on this one. Do not watch this. Uh, do not watch this movie. Know, really? Or watch like ten minutes just to be like, oh, that's why this. But is But don't so watch. Bad. Yeah. The, well, you could watch the beginning since that's the best scene. I. To yeah. Lucas. Well, that's you can hear no, the, no, the, that's the, not the best scene as much as it is just like the scene that seems most like most. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 I don't know. Like, That's where you'll also be the most confused because you're going to say, is this a drama? Is this a comedy? And, yeah, yeah. And, one last thing, and you'll ask that for One last thing, show. Paul. When Eddie Murphy gets <laughs> a all the fixings for a martini when yeah. Rosario Dawson brings it up <laughs> and he, he he doesn't make a martini in, in the glass. He just drinks the yeah. vodka. He vodka makes food. it in his mouth. Was that a joke? Well, yeah, of course. He, he didn't chew the olive. Also, he swallowed that thing whole. Yeah, Eddie, oh, there, I, was I have a question. Okay. There were 40 olives. I have in a question. So too. they get to the hotel, right? They get to Lunar, Lunar Beach. They check into the hotel, and the guy's like, and they get tickets to see Jay Moore perform. Then they get recognized. Yes, then, no, no, not yet. First, oh, okay. first okay. the guy's like, well, it's black ties, but we have rentals available, right? So they cut to <laughs> them, and they're in black tie attire, which mm-hmm. I assume means they rented it. She has a dress that it. fits her like a glove. I assume they rented mm-hmm. this stuff. Wow. Well. And then when Eddie Murphy gets brought up to see Rex Gardner, whatever his name is. Rex Gardner? Rex Carter. Carter. Rex Carter. Carver. 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 John Carter. <laughs> John John Carver from Mars. <laughs> when Eddie Murphy gets brought up, he and Rex th- are, are, wearing- are wearing identical clothes. Yes. And why is so that? So do we presume that the guy who's the criminal mastermind rented his tux as well? No, he makes everybody... He goes, well, look, I'm going to wear this... 
the same tux every day. And they're like, oh, well, let's, you know, I think it, I think he's like, how do they same, wind up in the same clothes? To me, it's a Steve Because they have to. They, they also have make to. a reference, though, to the fact that he can afford to get his own tux. He doesn't have to rent it. Right? To me, I saw him oh, like the did? Steve Harvey yeah. of the moon. I saw him as like, he has a line of tuxes. Right, and he's but like, how you're going to rent he these tuxes. Yeah, he, he, he knows he what's going to yeah, happen because yeah. he has access to everything in Eddie Murphy's brain. What? So no, he, he could have clung. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, yes. no, no. He doesn't no, know no. the future. Nobody said. He said he has He access. can remember. He remembers. Yes, but he Only can remember. Only from before appendix surgery. Guys, guys. There is no, no reason he was why like, they are in, uh, other than they need it for, shoot him, no shoot him, no shoot him. The There's classic no reason. vaudeville routine. You guys, you don't, think that, you don't think that Rex Carter had a gazillion <clears throat> cameras in that hotel and knew that Eddie Murphy, was real wearing. good Eddie Murphy, Pluto Nash, was heading up that way? And had rented right. And was wearing that tux. And, and was like, tux. quick, oh, get me get that me tux. Get me that tux well, for dramatic why? effect. Get me that be tux. great when I turn around in this Look, chair. Get me that tux in case we get in a scenario <laughs> Where a gun is loose and both of us are standing there and we need to do one of those classic shoot him, no shoot hims. Like, what? Who? 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 who how? Wait, what? No, they just. It's never going to make any sense. <laughs> they, it was the way. It's, it's everything about this movie. If it's not lazy, it's. it's it's, it's offensive. So, yeah. It's offensive on so it's many levels. The guns look like super soakers. If the you have ever, and the guns if you've like, ever pew, written, pew, like pew, plastic. Pew, I've, pew, I've, pew, I've read, pew. I've read like short stories by like second graders that make more linear yes. sense yeah. in this movie. Mm-hmm. But so do not go see this movie ever. But do tune in to Best Friends Forever, which is Wednesday nights, eight sir, eight thirty, seven thirty central. Who it has? takes place on the moon, ironically. Enough. Really? Yeah. Now you it's have two best friends yeah. who's to live on the it's moon. It's more you guys of the are adventures to of Pluto Nash, right? <laughs> you guys are trying to open up a the club. The further adventures of it's called Pluto best Nash. friends forever. Pluto Nash Call and Bruno. It. Yeah, and Lennon and I got zoot suits made to fit us like a glove. <laughs> uh, is there so, a riot? Like a second skin. Is there a riot yes, in any of the yes. episodes? I, I know, know that you finished your first season, but I would like to ask that if you do a second season. You should have a club owner come in, Pluto Nash Great. come in. I love it. And yeah, like, do you have a local bar that you go to in the yeah, show? Yeah, of course. What's it called? Call it, it's going to be called Club P- Pluto. We never. <laughs> please. Yeah, we're going to do that. You're going to want to ADR that. You're going to want to ADR that in. Also, I do love that his name is Pluto. And they're on the moon, not but everybody on... else's guys. names are like Dina and yeah. Yeah. Tony. He wasn't and... born on the moon, right? Eddie no, Murphy. I think he no, was but born they on hate. Earth. But they talk about how they want to go back to Earth. It seems like it would be I easy to go he... back. I but he also. He, I think he was born. On, I think he, he like, grew up on the moon. Grew up on the moon. Yeah. Remember, he oh. shows her the stars through the car window, mm-hmm. and he's like, "When I was a kid, I used to come out here and look at the stars and yeah. try and count them." And then them. when he went to Earth, all he wanted to do was get back. Yeah. To back. The moon. Yeah. But then he hates not being. On the uh, on he hates being on the moon because he can't see the moon from the ground. Where did they get their vitamin D? Is what I want to know. Uh, oh, oh, oh you know what we didn't talk about two weeks, two weeks of darkness, two weeks of light. <sighs> you know what we didn't right? talk about at is all. Is that right? Yes, when, that's what he said. Night lasts said, for two weeks. Yeah, we were just in the darkness part. Oh man, guys, can we talk Smuggled about the varying degrees of gravity that affected them throughout the movie? <laughs> oh, oh, the wait, I have my favorite. Out of the bathroom, <laughs> he goes up. And then she's just like floats back down to the ground. The laws of gravity physics people, do not apply. Sometimes they can just walk around outside, but sometimes yeah. they float away. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> things they throw just float around, That's and sometimes true. they can throw them at each. It was like I was like, "Is there gravity here?" Okay, what is my happening? my favorite part is Rosario Dawson puts on the spacesuit. She puts it on and goes wee, and she just <laughs> jumps up. And she's like, "That was fun." Yeah, but like, that's her. That's the extent of her exploring. Weightlessness. A hundred million dollars, and there was there were no more like zero gravity scenes. The no, there zero- was. There was the big shootout zero gravity scene. By the way, every gun yeah, in this movie, whenever yeah, they shoot it, an gravity. explosion happens. Yes, nothing, no bullets. It's just like, and they all sound like they all look like regular guns from now, but they go pew. Yeah, pew, like pew. the the laser sound is so amazingly terrible. I actually thought to myself that perhaps Pluto Nash was bought the idea just from the description of, and we're gonna have a fight scene in anti gravity. Mm-hmm. You know that that could be enough for somebody. Well, that was to that's say how yes. Inception got made. I think it was it? bought based on that last scene. On the last Murph on Murph on yeah. Murph. Oh yes, that's why but, he signed on to do it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're never going to make sense of it we, until moment. we get the right on. So if this you know is going to be the longest podcast ever, just <laughs> because we're so confused. Uh, please, if you are involved we, in this movie, come on. Let's we make some talk sense. To, we should try and get Victor Vernado. Victor, to call would in. talk about. It. Victor has had some funny stories about. It. I wonder if he'll now talk about it twelve years later. Mm. Um, 
you also, your show is available. You can watch it immediately online. So whenever you listen to this, if it's not Wednesday, uh, but, but if you're not setting your DVRs, you can watch the whole pilot episode. Get a bag of popcorn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. How you is gotta, it? You're going to have to watch something. You're going to have to watch something. popcorn fun? It does. It does. It's usually such a chore. Is Best there, friends forever. Uh, oh, Wednesday night, I never know where to put my eyes when I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> is there nudity in your show? Uh-huh. Yes, male nudity. Really, male, yeah, male, male nudity. nudity. And then uh, a hot scene between Lennon and I, where I pull her on top of me in a bathtub, and she almost drowned me. It's episode wow. two. An episode so two. two. This is the. Sh- Watch I am show. most excited to see this show out of any show that's coming out. See, that's how I feel about sweet. Betty White's Granny. I know. I know. I know. So what are you together, just gonna call Granny's Gone Wild? I was gonna say Granny Wars. That I. By the way, I'm pitching a show called Granny Wars. As always. You can follow myself at Paul Shear on Twitter, June at Miss June Diane. Jason is not on Twitter, but visit us on our Facebook page and at the Earwolf.com site. Leave us comments, questions, whatever. We look at them and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, selling our new T-shirt very shortly. Uh, so that's it for us. Thank you very much. See you next time. This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolfradio.com The Wolf Dead.